Toyota, let's go places. I was working with uh, Joey, one of the uh, younger goalies that I work with. Uh, basically, just fundamentals. He's not too uh, old. So. Sure. What, yeah. you, uh, what makes you want to do something like this? Oh well, you know, give back to the community. You know, those kids are always out here watching us, and you know, they think we're the next big thing, honestly. And they go crazy over us. You know, just to be on the ice with one of us, it could, you know, make their weaker. Plus, they like playing hockey, and you know, we're their favorite hockey players. So. It's nice to get out there and uh, work with them a little bit. It's awesome. Good job, man. It looked like fun. It is fun. You caught. You didn't catch any drills. You caught the breakaways. I, I did a last drill at the end, so you can. Uh, Figures. Yeah, I yeah. went upstairs to get Sonia's perspective, and then I lost my battery. Ooh. All right. So what's the uh, what's the plan? How's the the plan is work is at 10:30. Okay. But it is like 9.30 right now, so we got a good half hour to 40 minutes to get on the ice and for the morning skate with the guys. So. Awesome. Is this just like an organized team thing? Is this like, does Bob come out? Like, well, usually Bob comes out, but his son was sick today, but uh, you know, whoever can make this skate is supposed to be here. And uh, you know, a lot of guys work, including myself, which is why I gotta get off early, but uh, you know, get any work you can. Uh, we're gonna be here, but you know, we're gonna make the most of it for the half hour, 40 minutes that I'm on the ice today, before practice. It's life for the next one. Watch me, I'm gonna be the best son. I forgot my flip flops at the rink. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be driving with one with no shoes. <laughs> That's awesome. So what are they saying about you know the process and everything with your ankle? Everything going okay? Oh yeah, it's just uh, you know it's healed enough that I can play. It's just it still swells up every once in a while and gets a little stiff. But, yeah. Uh, basically, if I you know tape it up, which they do a very great job of, I'm able to play with no issue, and that's uh. That's pretty important, especially for this weekend going into Cody. True. Two away games. First time we have uh, been in Wyoming this year, so first long road trip should be interesting. What are we doing now? Uh, I'm getting in this car and I'm heading over to uh, the rink for uh, the actual practice for today. Well, I think when Nick got here last year, you could definitely recognize the athletic ability of him, um, for sure. I mean, that was one thing that stands out. I think he just needed to adjust a little bit to the type of play uh, it was a level up from what he had played prior, so shots were coming a little harder. Some of the guys were a little stronger, uh, shooting a little bit quicker, things like that. So once he kind of got his rebound control in and his aggressiveness dialed into where it needed to be without being, you know, out of position, I think he just 
that helped him a lot. But bottom line is he just worked for it. You know what I mean? Like he's he's a good worker. Brandon helps him a lot. Brandon helps all the goalies a lot. But Nick's a guy who's going to take every minute of the ice he can get. Um, he's going to be out there whenever he can, trying to get better. <laughs> Nick's a leader by example because he's willing to put in the work. So, you know, while he's not afraid to speak up, he also, like to me, some of the best guys, the guys you want to follow are the guys who are going to do it. You know I mean? Everybody can say something, but Nick actually does it. So he's out there. He works hard on skating drills. He's out there whenever there's extra ice and things like that. You know, he's working on something. He's not screwing around, not hanging out on the boards, things like that. Like, he's actually out there working. So guys see that, you're going to respect it. And then that's also probably, you know, that is the reason he's as good as he's doing right now is because he's worked for it. I mean, he's just out there getting the shots as many as he can. He got a lot of shots last year, so he got good experience, you know. But hopefully we'll keep him down this year, and, and we have been so far, so that's good. And then, you know, we're working on where he's getting work, but he's not getting overworked, and I think right now that's definitely helping him out as well. No matter what, no matter who you're playing, you got to prepare all week as if you're playing the best team. But, uh... We have a, in our locker room we have a whiteboard and on it across it says champions. And not necessarily because we want everything, but the mentality is that we're gonna be champions. We train every day like, tra like champions. We work every day like champions. And if we keep going with that mentality, no matter, how, no matter who or where we play, I think we have a really good shot to come out with a victory. So tell me about Stan and Mickey's. Uh, <laughs> Stan and Mickey's, that place is, in my opinion, he's easily one of the best billet houses to live. I think in any junior hockey team organization, we have our we have the the basement which has foosball, and you know we each got our own room. There's a hot tub there. We got it. We got it made pretty much out there. You know, we uh, me and my billet brother Justin Cunningham definitely lucked out by being able to uh, to live out here with them. They're really nice people. You know, Stan Stan has his famous breakfast burritos that he makes in the morning. And, no, those are absolutely delicious way to start your day. <laughs> Nick's always making something for dinner. It's almost like living at home because, you know, I got the Italian mom who she has her own little recipes and, like, she knows exactly what to cook, too. So, pretty much, and no matter if I'm living at home or at Stand and Mix, I'm getting fed pretty, pretty well. Nice. Something you don't know about me is that my, my rookie year here, um, two weeks before camp, uh, I didn't have a team to play for. You know, I decided I, I was going to play juniors. I was going to keep playing, but uh, I didn't. Ha I wasn't signed. I had nothing to do. So I went. I went around and you know emailed every team in the NA3 that uh, I had interest in. And Bob got back to me. I ended up. I ended up choosing coming out to Helena, which was pretty hard, definitely on my mom. You know, because it's not like she can just you know drive and come see me. Right. It's definitely. Oh, it's 33 hours to drive here, and I don't think anyone's doing that. And I've never done it. I'm always flying out here, but uh, I had no home, and I ended up coming out here and absolutely loving it. I love playing in front of the fans. You know, the Bighorn fans are one of the best fans in the NA3, in my opinion. I love playing here. I love playing for Coach Coach Richards. He's, he's a great coach. You know, the goalie coach here, Brandon Manata, has worked really well with me, and told me he's a very good coach as well. He loves to score on me. He scores on me quite a bit in practice, but uh, you know, I love living at Stand and Mix. You know, it's a, it's it's not just the hockey aspect of it because you know I can play tier three. I got offers to play tier three in the EHL, like three or four, and I decided if I was playing tier three, I was definitely coming back to Helena because you know Helena has become a second home. I love it out here. You know, I love the family I live with. Why would I play the same level somewhere else? not know what I'm going to get when I know I already love what I got here. So what are we doing now? Well, we're uh, rolling up to the old billet house and, you know, Justin's already home. Stan isn't home yet, but Nick's home and before dinner we might be playing a little uh, hockey sauce kit. 
because uh, my billet brother comes from Butte, Montana, which isn't too far from here. So he was able to bring it from his house and we have a lot of open space out here. So I, I think that's what we're going to be doing yeah, until dinner. Sleeping. No, I had to ref. Oh yeah, you were repping and I decided to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I figured somebody did because the vacuum cleaner was down there, but yeah, that would be good news. Thank you. Hockey sauce kit? Sure. One's still laying, huh? What? What's with this? With lack of production? There's no way there's only two in here. She's got to be laying on like four. I don't know how Stan's going to react to two eggs. She better be sitting on like five of them. Let's go find out. Stan, there's an issue. Ladies are uh, ladies are oxidical. Or many today. There's two in my hands, but there's one sitting in on one of them. So grab the rest out of there. How do I just grab her? By the wind and gently pull her out. Grab her by the wind and gently pull her out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fellas, we are heading to the gym. Yeah, fuel Good fitness, fuel fitness and nutrition. Peak physical therapy, guys. We're gonna be uh, working our ass off. working our ass off. Yeah. All after right. A long day. Yeah, I haven't been there in a week, so it's gonna be a little interesting. Well, the thing is, my my brother was the one who first got me like into the gym, and that's when I first saw his work ethic. So, like, first like realized firsthand how uh, like I had how hard you actually work to be as good. Cause he played D1 baseball. So, uh, and he like got cut from like little league teams and stuff like that. So he was the type of guy that uh, worked really hard to get where he was. And, you know, not just in sports, but in life, you know, he's really successful, so. Anytime I have, uh, you know, need advice on something, I can call him up whenever he is. So when, when I hurt my ankle, you know, he sent me brand new, like, stuff I can use, like those bands that he, I had. Right. He shipped them to me, and I thought he was shipping me the ones that he used. Now he ordered, he ordered me, like, brand new ones. So, you know, for my birthday, he got me a really, really nice watch, you know. Stuff like that, you know, Five means a lot to me. Five RDLs. Push and roll. Yeah. 